Good happy Friday evening. I'm Riley King and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. We begin with some major breaking news that we just got into our newsroom. President Trump tweets John Kelly, Chief of Staff, Outstanding Rice Prius. President Donald Trump tweeted that retired General John Kelly is the new White House Chief of Staff, replacing Rice Priebus in the role. Trump said in a tweet, I'm pleasured to inform you that I have just named General Slash Secretary John F. Kelly as White House Chief of Staff. He's a great American and a great leader. John has also done a spectacular job at Homeland Security. He has been a true star of my administration. Kelly has already been working in the Trump administration, serving as Secretary of Homeland Security. We will keep you updated on this breaking news as it continues to develop. Mother, 83, and son, 63, charge in murder for higher case in Plainfield. Let's take a listen to this video from WMUR News 9, Andy Hirschberger. Sean, the first of the arraignments is just getting underway right now. Now, according to court paperwork, Maurice Temple was involved in an ongoing dispute with his ex-wife, resulting from a debt that he owed her as a result of the divorce, and that he'd also been arrested earlier this month and briefly jailed for failing to make his court-ordered payments. Now, 63-year-old Maurice Temple and 83-year-old Pauline Chase face numerous charges, including conspiracy to commit murder. Now, according to court paperwork, Temple and his mother had numerous conversations beginning back in June with another man to talk about the killing of Temple's ex-wife. The paperwork also shows that Temple's mother, Pauline Chase, paid the man $5,000 as a down payment on the murder. And once again, the first of the two hearings is just getting underway right now. We will have much more on what transpired in court later on, beginning at News 9 at 5. Reporting live in Claremont, Ray Brewer, WMUR News Now. Okay, and there you go on that report. Thirteen South Shore beaches closed due to high. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> bacteria levels. High bacteria levels from storm runoff over the past week have closed 13 beaches on the South Shore. The Patriot Ledger reports all four sections of Wallow Stone Beach, all five ocean beaches in Marshfield and four beaches in Highham situate in Plymouth have been posted. In addition to Wallstone, the affected beaches are Town Beach in Highham, Lighthouse and Highham beaches in Stituate and Rexham, Fieldston, Sunrise, Brant Rock, and Green Harbor beaches in Mansfield. The White Horse Beach on and White Horse Beach on Plymouth. The only section of Wallstone Beach that was over the bacteria limits considered safe for swimming in Sarcher Street, but 
the other three were closed as a precaution. Bacteria levels at the other South Shore beaches range from slightly over the limit to four times over at Town Beach and Lighthouse. The other 52 salt water beaches on the South Shore passed bacteria test this week and are open for swimming. For more Quancy beaches, call 617-376-1288 or visit Tilp beaches for more on Wallace Stone Beach, call 617-626-4972. How beaches are tested, 65 beaches on the South Shore are tested for instilo bacteria found in humans and animals. High levels indicate the possible prints of diseases causing microbes that are present in swag but are more difficult to detect. Bacteria clones are filtered from 3 ounces of water and placed on a gel-infused naturalist in chemicals designed to promote growth. Lift in the interbator in single cells isolated on the filter grew explosively, forming colonias visible to the naked eye. After one day, the colonias are counted, and if it exceeds 140 colonias, the beaches is closed to swimming. If the past five samples have mean exceed 35 colonias, the beaches must ha also be closed to swimming. Dog given Narcan after overdosing on Oxycontin. Let's take a listen to this video from WMTW News 8, David Charnes. <laughs> Dog is alive this morning thanks to the quick actions of her owner and York County deputies who saved the dog's life after administering Narcan. This is Addie, and Addie's owner says she got into leg legally prescribed oxycodone and then got a little drowsy. That's when her owner flagged down officers who had some Narcan with them. Deputies say Addie perked right up after getting a dose, and she's doing just fine. Okay, and there you go on that report. Now let's take a look and see how your stock market closed for this Friday evening. Your Dow Joe Industrial Average closed in the green and went up. Your S&P 500 Index closed in the red and went down. Your NASDAQ closed in the red and went down. Our USS 2K closed in the red and went down and VIX closed in the green and went up. Dow post record close as Wall Street shakes off Amazon's fall. U.S. equalities closed well off session lows on Friday. Investors shook off a sharp pullback from Amazon.com. North Korea filed, fired intercautional ballistic missile, U.S. officials say. Let's take a listen to this video from ABC News.
Okay, and there you go on that report in that video. Also, an initial assessment shows that North Korea fired an ballistic missile today that flew for more than 40 minutes, traveling 620 miles horizontally into the Sea of Japan, a U.S. official said. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Friday night. Good night, everyone. Bye.